Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to Nadia and Rob. Uh, Nadia is upstairs working today, so I'll be your, your host for the day. Um, and as many of you may know, a while back we reviewed some Duboyer pans, these carbon steel pans, of which we have quite a few. Um, we really love them, and we do most of our cooking in them. And we have everything from this cute little crepe pan, which was actually my grandmother's, all of the way up to their monster 14 inch. Now, all of the pans that we have are in the Mineral B line, which is their sort of mid-range line of carbon steel pans. And they're called Mineral B because they actually come coated in a thin coating of beeswax to prevent them from rusting in shipping because these are just straight carbon steel. So uh, when you get them, of course, you have to wash off the beeswax. I'll talk a little bit more about the prep later. But at any rate, the review that we did a while back, and I'll link to it below, has continued to draw lots of interest and we get lots of questions and feedback on it. So when Du Boyer reached out to us and asked if we'd like to review any of their other products, our response was, Absolutely. So, full disclosure, uh, Du Boyer did not select the products for us to review. They've had no input into it and they'll see this video the same time you do. So, at any rate, I thought it would be interesting because Du Boyer has three lines of pens. They have the Mineral B and they have a line called La Lyonnaise and also their Mineral B Pro. And I was really curious to see what the difference between them is. Um, they vary a bit in price and also in weight. So I thought it would be interesting to try and compare them directly. We had um, Du Boyer send us sort of similar size pans in the three different lines so that we can compare them and tell you sort of recommendations or you know any feedback. So as I said this is their main line Mineral B and this seems to be I think it's their oldest line um, and these are available in the largest number of sizes. Now I have notes today because there's a, I have a lot of little facts and figures. So these are available. The Mineral B pans are available in six sizes from 8 to 14 inches. And the one we use the most often is this sort of 12 and a half inch pan. It seems to cover a wide range of, of cooking. Now this is the Mineral B Pro Line. And it came wrapped in this nice paper bag. So let's pull this out. Yeah, toss that there. So this is the Mineral B Pro Line. This one is an 11 inch diameter, 28 centimeters. And this pan is essentially the exact same pan as the Mineral B, the difference being it has a stainless steel handle. So functionally, what the difference is, this handle, these handles, which are carbon steel, they have an enamel coating on them, I guess to make them a little bit easier to handle with your hand. This coating on the handle means that they can only go into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or less for about 10 minutes at maximum. Now, we put these in the oven fairly frequently because we'll finish off a steak or something like that. Um, but they're not made for extensive oven use. This, being stainless steel, can go into the oven. You can cook the whole dish in the oven. 
So this can go in and bake or whatever it is you want to do in the oven, this stainless steel handle can handle it. So that's the difference between the Mineral B and the Mineral B Pro. Um, it's also really pretty, I must say, and I love that it's got a pretty little B um, uh, right on the handle. And again, you can't really even detect it, but there is a beeswax coating on this pan. And this is what the pans look like when they arrive. So um, if I were to wash the beeswax off and do nothing, this could potentially rust because this is just a base steel. So we have to season it. This one we've been cooking with for a while. And this is what a seasoned pan looks like. It's all blackened all the way around. So that's the Mineral B, the Mineral B Pro. And this is La Lyonnaise, which is, um, I'm curious as to, you know, sort of how this pan works. It is much, much thinner, right? These are three millimeters thick. The La Lyonnaise is, I'll consult my notes so I get it right, 1.2 millimeters thick. So it's a much lighter pan um, and it also comes, rather than with the beeswax coating, rather than the beeswax coating, it has a bluing on it, which means it's sort of been, I think it's a heat treatment that causes the steel to turn blue um, and it won't rust, but it still needs to be seasoned in order to develop a non-stick surface. So we'll be, we'll be talking about seasoning and showing you that in a little bit. Uh, it has the same handle as the Mineral B. So this is mostly for stovetop and brief oven cooking. So there's the three lines. Now the biggest thing that I can instantly turn it, tune in on is these are a lot heavier. The Mineral B and Mineral B Pro are a lot heavier than the Lyonnaise. So um, if you are worried about the weight, now all of these, whoa, sorry about that. All of these pans are much lighter than a carbon steel pan, which is a big, thick steel pan. And they're also much more responsive to temperature changes. One thing we've noticed a lot in cooking with the Mineral B is, you know, you can get it hot very, very quickly, sear your meats or your fish or chicken, whatever it is you want to do. And then if you want to continue cooking or make a sauce or do something like that, you can reduce the heat and the temperature in the pan drops very quickly. And I'm imagining that even more so in this La Lyonnaise pan. So that we will, that we will test and see what it's like. Um, now, just by way of comparison, I did bring my scale out. So the Mineral B pan, this is a 12 and a half inch pan. So it's a little bit bigger than this one. Um, but uh, they're, they're very similar in size. Yeah, I think it's, it's a half an inch bigger. But in weight, this pan, this is a Mineral B, weighs in at about six, six pounds, one ounce. It, it is definitely a heavy pan. This one, the La Lyonnaise, weighs in at two pounds, four ounces. So less than half the weight. So if you're concerned about hefting a big pan, you may want to opt for the La Lyonnaise. I'll be interested to see what the cooking experience with them is. And uh, the, um, uh, the Mineral B Pro, now this is an 11 inch, so again, it's the smallest of them. Even this one still weighs in at four pounds, 13, almost five pounds. So they're definitely, they're not a lightweight pan, the Mineral B. But as I said, much lighter than a um, cast iron pan. And you can see the thickness of the pan. So I'll be interested to see how this responds to heating and cooling and stuff like that. Now, price-wise, um, the Mineral B pan is right in the middle. The Mineral B Pro is about 20% more expensive and the La Lyonnaise is a little bit less expensive. So in terms of dollar outlay, by comparison, let me just check my notes. The 11-inch Mineral B, 
but it's a little bit smaller than this one, comes in at 95, at $95. So the 11 inch Mineral B is $95. The 11 inch Mineral B Pro is $115. And the 12 inch La Lyonnaise is $55. These are all priced in US dollars. This is, there's definitely a price range and we'll see what the value proposition is for the price. Now, the next thing that has to be discussed is seasoning because these two pans are brand new, so it wouldn't be fair to compare them to this pan, which is very well seasoned. And seasoning is a process of basically sort of baking on a coating of oil polymers that seal the pores of the metal and give it a very smooth surface and it basically gives it a non-stick surface. And the thing is, the more you cook on these pans, the more non-stick they become. And that's the original reason why we bought a carbon steel pan because we were tired of buying non-stick pans and invariably after a couple of years of use, they start to lose their non-stick property and they get scratched, which is probably not a good thing. These pans are forever pans. These will last your, the rest of your life, and your children's and your grandchildren's because I can testify to that since I own my grandmother's crepe pan. So these are a long-term investment and by comparison to say a multi-layer stainless steel pan, those go in the you know hundreds of dollars for a quality stainless steel with layering in it to distribute the heat. So the, I find that they're a very good value proposition. They really are a lifetime investment and uh, it's just a question of you know do you want to spend a little bit more on the Mineral B Pro or save a little money and a little weight to get the La Lyonnaise. So we'll see, we'll see how they cook. The seasoning process. Now on Du Bouillet's website, which we'll link below, and we have an affiliate link below. If you want to purchase, you get a discount on anything you purchase through that link. Um, on their website, they have very detailed um, instructions on how to season these pans. And there's all kinds of different methods. Some people cook oil, cook with, you know, use various oils. And there's a lot of discussions about which oil on the Deboye website. They just say any high temperature oil. We happen to cook a lot with grapeseed oil. So that's what we use to, you know, season the pans. And you really only have to sort of deliberately season them once. And then as you cook on them more and more, they will, you know, continue to develop a, you know, a more and more solid coat. You just want to get an initial seasoning on so that your foods don't stick and then it sort of seals the steel of the pan. So they have two different methods, one of which is for the Mineral B Pros because it consists of basically uh, baking the pan for a long period of time. So what their recommendation for the Mineral B Pro is, is first you wash the wax off, which applies to any of the Mineral B pans. Wash it off in hot water. You don't have to get the wax completely off because it is totally food safe. So it's not, you know, it's just to get the, the, the whole coating off. But at any rate, wash them in nice hot water that will dissolve the wax. And then what they recommend is that you heat up the pan on the stovetop right? Um, which they says opens up the pores of the metal. Then you take a, uh, a, a paper or a rag with the, your oil on it and you basically rub it on the whole pan inside and out and cover the whole surface, right? And then the pan goes into a 475 Fahrenheit oven, right? And it stays in there for an hour. And it will probably smoke, but it, and you put it in upside down and they recommend that you put a foil covered uh, baking pan underneath it because it may drip a little bit depending on how much oil you've put on. Put a baking pan in the oven, coat this with oil, nice thin coating, upside down in the oven, 475 for an hour. 
Now, these pans, the La Leonese and the regular Mineral B, they can't go in the oven for an hour at 475. So, what they recommend for these is a simple stovetop um, seasoning. So you basically, you do the same thing. You wash the pan, the, the mineral bees, this I don't think needs washing, but coat with a thin coat of, of oil, outside, inside, put it on the stove, heat it up until it just starts to smoke, then turn off the heat, let it cool down, and you'll see when you do this, you start to pick up sort of a, a bit of a brown tinge to the metal. And a lot of people do two or three sort of heatings and cooling. So you, you heat the pan up till it smokes, you let it cool down, put on another little coating of oil, heat it up again till it smokes, <laughs> cool it down. Um, I think I did that when we got our first Mineral B. And then after that, I'd sort of do one, maybe two cycles of seasoning and then just start cooking. Because as I say, as you cook, the pans get more and more nonstick, which is great. It's the exact opposite of nonstick pans. There's a lot of concern online about cooking with, you know, high acid foods like tomatoes or lemon sauces and stuff like that. And that's stripping the coating off the pan and influencing the flavor of the food. Now, we toss, you know, like we squeeze lemons into a lot of the things that we coat, what we cook, or we'll, you know, saute some tomatoes in the pan. And yeah, it might take off a little bit of the coating, but again, the more you cook in it, the more coating you're building up. So we don't really worry about it. If we're going to make a long cooking tomato sauce, then we would probably use like a stainless steel saucepan. Um, but for just regular, you know, for what these are for, which is frying, they're absolutely excellent. And I have finished off, you know, the sort of frying process by making sauces and, you know, pan sauces and wine reductions and all kinds of things in these pans and no problem whatsoever. And one of the things that I love about these pans is, I mean, these are steel. <laughs> these are just a solid hunk of steel. This is what we used to make armor out of. So, you know, you can't destroy them. You don't have to use special soft implements. You can use steel um, spatulas doesn't really matter because these will take anything. I really love that aspect of them. So that's my overall take and my sort of first impressions of these pans. They're really beautiful. Um, I love the look of this, the uh, De Boyer uh, Mineral B Pro. The stainless steel handle is really pretty. We'll see, it um, should cook the same exact same as this. These ones definitely lighter, like the blue look. We'll see how they cook. I'm going to go ahead and season up these new pans. I'll do this one in the oven and this one on the stove top. And then we'll sort of check them for an evenness test. But then I think what I really want to do is for both of us to just go ahead and cook with these pans for a while. Try different recipes, different food items, see how the pans sort of respond to cooking and what our impression of working with each of the three lines is. And when we've done that for a little while, we'll report back and tell you what our conclusions are. Now that we've had a chance to do some cooking and experimentation with all three lines of these Du Boyer pans, I thought I'd share our conclusions. Um, first off, all three of them, including the La Lyonnaise line, cook quite evenly. I was quite surprised. Of course, you know, given that we work on a gas stove, they're a little bit hotter in the middle than at the edges. 
but when you're cooking and you're moving things around, that really doesn't matter. There's no, they don't have a real hot spot. And we were both quite impressed that the La Lyonnaise, even though it's a much thinner metal, is actually heats quite evenly and is on a par with the other pans, the Mineral B and the Mineral B Pro. So that was impressive. We did a preliminary seasoning of the new pans of the La Lyonnaise and the, uh, the Mineral B Pro. Uh, and they both seasoned up perfectly well. Of course, we did this one on the stove because this handle doesn't go in the oven. And we did the Mineral B Pro in the oven. Now, we really liked the oven technique. We've never used that before because we've never had the Mineral B Pro. So just coating it with a thin coat of oil and then sticking it in the oven at, I think, 475 for an hour. It emerged with a beautiful bronze coat on it that looked really pretty, was extremely uniform, and, you know, will continue to develop as you cook more and more on it. But that's a really nice technique. So that worked really nicely. One thing that's nice about the oven technique is, first of all, there's no smoke involved because it just stays, I guess, just below the smoking point for the oil. So you don't smoke up the kitchen. Plus, if you want, you could do multiple pans all at the same time. So that's a convenient, uh, convenient aspect of the Mineral B Pro. One thing we did notice is when we cooked the chicken legs in these two pans, first off, very impressive with just our, you know, an initial seasoning. We dropped the chicken legs and legs and thighs in, skin side down with nothing in the pan, no oil, no butter, nothing. Just let them cook in the pan. And as soon as they had achieved some browning, we were able to just pick them up and flip them over. Nothing stuck to the pan whatsoever. So that was impressive. Even with just an initial seasoning, they released absolutely beautiful. And we did grilled cheese and spelt like cheese into the pans and, you know, sort of cooked on um, cheddar and Gruyere cheese, just popped right off the pan, no problem. So they release and they, they, they have great aspects of nonstick. And of course, over time, they just keep getting better. Now, one thing that did happen is when we finished cooking the chicken legs, we were browning them and then we were going to throw them into a soup. So we browned them and then deglazed with Shaoxing Chinese wine. And that actually did peel some of the seasoning off of the Mineral B Pro. Couldn't really tell so much on the Lyonnais because of the color of the Lyonnais. I think I can see that some of it went, but on the Mineral B Pro, you could definitely see that it took some of the seasoning off because we just had the one coat of seasoning on it. But it was absolutely no problem. I just took a little bit of oil on a, on a rag, wiped it into the pan, heated the pan up on the stove again, got it smoking, and it came right back to a nice brown seasoned coat. And again, as that develops and thickens over time, it just becomes more and more durable and will not be likely to come off. But you know, you don't have to worry about stripping the seasoning. I mean, I, we get a lot of emails in response to our earlier videos about, you know, how do you have to take care of the seasoning? What happens if it comes off? Can you cook with acids? All those things are no problem because if you ever do take some of the seasoning off, a little wipe of oil and a little heat brings it right back. And that's one of the glorious things about cooking on carbon steel pans. They're just amazingly durable and rather than like non-stick pans that get less and less non-stick, these get more and more non-stick over time. So I thought I'd run through the pros and cons of each line of pans and then give you our conclusions about what we might recommend. So starting with the La Lyonnaise, we've never had these pans before and I was really sort of thinking, wow, they're awfully thin, especially when it arrived, I look at it and I thought, oh, these are really thin. And I've seen really thin carbon steel pans um, at other cooking stores and they're like super bendy and flex. This is a good solid pan. Um, and because of its thinness, it heats up very, very quickly. 
So I would say with the La Lyonnaise, you have to be a little bit more careful with your temperature. Um, I found I had to just keep an eye on the, the amount of heat, turn it down a little bit so it wouldn't end up singeing the food. But within that, it performed absolutely beautifully. Yeah, given that sensitivity to heat, I, we don't have an electric stove, but my guess is if you had an electric stove top, especially one of the solid glass ones, it would be really well suited to the La Lyonnaise pan because of the fact that they can heat up much quicker. And with an electric stove, that's always a bonus. So I would say that would be perfectly um, suited to that. And I think they're an amazingly good pen and it's so much lighter than either the Mineral B Pro or the regular Mineral B line. Uh, if you have any concerns about the weight of the pen and being able to, to sort of manage it, and if you like to, you know, like to flip your foods, the shape of this pen is extremely well suited. The La Lyonnaise shape allows you to flip food back into it and the weight lets you do it because I tell you trying to flip this when it's full of food would be is very challenging. So if you have any concerns about weight or if budget is any sort of consideration these pans are a great great bargain. I think this one was something like $55 on the website. So these are a great way to get into cooking on, on carbon steel, not have to worry so much about the weight, and get in there at a really reasonable price point. See if you like cooking on carbon steel. And as I said, these would be particularly well suited to an electric stovetop. So that's the La Lyonnaise line. Now the Mineral B line, this is sort of the, the main line of carbon steel pans for Du Boyer. They have the widest range of sizes. These frying pans go from like a little four and a half inch individual egg or pancake pan, which is really cute, up to a big monster 14 inch pan um, if you're cooking for a real crowd, which we have it and we, we do use it fairly often. So there's a wide range of pans in this line. Plus they have things like a country pan, there's an oval roasting pan, tortilla pans, paella pans, a whole range, even a, I gotta check my, uh, my spelling on this one, there's even an apple skeever pan. That's for making those little cooked round, uh, sort of like round, round donut kind of things. So they make a huge range of pans in this Mineral B lineup. So it's a, it's a really wide selection. And I think the Mineral B is a great balance between value and quality. It's the same pan as the Mineral B Pro, same thickness of metal, uh, same carbon steel. It's all, you know, 100% iron, one per, sorry, 99% iron, 1% carbon. Um, so they're identical in terms of cooking. Um, and these just are at a, a lower price point. They're about 30% lower price point. So I think they're a great value and whatever you buy in this line is going to last you your whole life, your children's lives, whatever. It's a real great investment and what can I say? We have a bunch of them. We use them all the time. Now the Mineral B Pro um, they don't have as wide a range of pans as the main Mineral B line. Uh, they come from 8 to 12 and a half inches. Um, and they are a great pan. They're just like the Mineral B, same carbon steel, same weight. The big difference being the stainless steel handle. And that allows you to put these pans in the oven or under the broiler if you want to finish say uh, you're cooking a fillet of fish and you want to finish it under a broiler, you can stick these under there, no problem. If you want to start something in a pan and then finish it off in an, un in an oven for a long cook, that's no problem. These stainless steel handles will do it. And I must say, I really like the sort of aesthetic and feel 
of the stainless steel handles. They have a really nice heft in the hand and I love the little embossed B, you know, sort of cast right into the handle. It's very pretty. Now Nadia noticed an interesting thing about the handle and that is that the angle of the handle is lower. So the handle ends up being quite a bit lower on the Mineral B Pro and she really appreciated that because she finds that the handles on the Mineral B are a little bit tall for her to try and reach and manipulate the pan. So if you're not you know, sort of at my height, there's an advantage to these being a slightly lower profile. And of course, if they're going in under a broiler, they can go in closer to the broiler as well. So, okay, sort of overall, what's the choice here? I would say if you're on a budget or you're concerned about weight, the La Lyonne line is great. It's a wonderful pan and a great way to get into the whole carbon steel cooking. Main Mineral B line is totally versatile. Huge range of sizes to accommodate whatever you want to cook. And the Mineral B Pro, I would say, if you can afford the extra money, I would go for it. <laughs> That's basically it. I like the stainless steel handle. I like the versatility of being able to start thing on a something on a stovetop and finish it in the oven without having to worry about the temperature or the time. So I would say if money is not a concern, the Mineral B Pro is a great choice. Mineral B is sort of that perfect balance between value and a great pan and the Lyonnaise line is an amazing pan for a, for a really reasonable price. And it will last a long time. It's steel, so it's not going anywhere. So that's our impression of the overall choice of lineups in the Dubouillet carbon steel pans. They all cook absolutely beautifully. They release food once, it's, once you've got a sear on, it releases perfectly, and they are an absolute joy to cook with. So, if you have any questions, observances, um, your experiences with any of the pens, please share them in the comments. We're really interested to hear. This is our first chance that we had to try out all three lines. So it's been, it's been a fun learning experience for us. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, hit the subscribe button and the like button. It really helps with our uh, sort of ratings within the system. And uh, we'll see you very soon with more videos. Bye-bye.